Hi everyone, it's Michael. This is gonna be a really quick video about my process of cleaning Lekka beads um, before I use them for potting and after they've already been used for potting. So just to give you a site-specific example of why I like to clean these beads, I'm gonna take you in closer on my Cycopsis. Now, if you look closely, you can see this white residue by this aeration hole. What that is, is it's a product of the fertilized water being flushed down here. So all of the excess salt are building up on the potting medium here. At this stage, it's not really problematic, but if it's allowed to continue, it can be because the, your roots aren't gonna like all that salt. So it's important to go ahead and flush the system. Beyond that, and I'm not actually sure you can see it, there is just a reddish tint to the edge of the glass. Uh, you can kind of see this build up here. And what that is, is it's actually a byproduct from the clay, the reddish clay of the Lekka beads. And that starts to cling to my glass potting containers. And if you're OCD like me, that's gonna drive you crazy. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the Cycopsis out and get it some fresh potting media, and I'll show you how I clean this guy. So let's start by unpotting my Cycopsis. Now something to bear in mind is that if you are doing this with a more established plant, the roots are going to cling to the potting medium and the Lekka beads will not freely release. If that happens, do not wrestle the beads away from the roots, it will cause damage. Fortunately, this one has only been in semi-hydro for about two months. It's gonna be a little bit more forgiving with me, but it is one of the things I love about semi-hydroponics. If this were bark medium, or this were sphagnum moss, or coconut husk, it is going to severely impact the plant every time you repot. But because we're just repotting it into the exact same medium with the exact same moisture levels, it's going to be a lot more forgiving and a lot more adaptable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump all of the potting medium right into my uh, used Lekka bead pots. All right, and there we are. I'm gonna set that to the side along with its ID tag. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wash this container. Now you can a little bit more clearly see what I'm talking about. This is an indicator that you haven't properly cleansed your Lekka beads because that is just uh, a little bit of clay powder that is sticking to the sides of your container. All right, look how much better that is. Perfectly clean. And of course, I'm just gonna go ahead as always and give this a spray of my Fizan 20 solution to make sure it's good and disinfected for when it gets repotted. Now on to the actual process of cleaning the Lekka beads. So of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in my entire pot of my used and dirty Lekka beads, and I'm just gonna run hot water over them. So I'm gonna allow this to fill up all the way, and then I'm just gonna kind of agitate the beads with my hands to loosen up anything else that might be on there. That could be dead roots. It could be little bits of sphagnum moss that I used to try to accomplish a more humid environment, but ended up hating. All right, so now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick strain before I repeat the process. So even though that looked clean and you didn't see anything when it was getting agitated, you can see that there's all sorts of little bits and pieces on the inside of the beads that get removed. And generally, it looks like the uh, water's running pretty clear, doesn't it? Well, you'll see that there's a big distinction when you're boiling it because all of the stuff that's lingering in the beads will come to the surface. So I'll show you that in just a second as well. We have arrived at a full roaring boil, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but right around the rim of the pot, right where the water is, you can see this mucky red mess. And what that is, is all of the things that were trapped inside of the beads, on top of the beads, and the residual powder that still lingers. So even though at first glance it may appear that your Lekka beads are clean, sterile, and sanitized, they're still holding on to a lot of things. What I appreciate about boiling is it's going to pull all of that out and all of that up to the surface, and it's also going to kill anything that's lingering inside. And again, so take a look at this film that has just developed right around the edge of the pot. That was all hiding out inside of the beads. So no offense to anybody who hand agitates, but what I prefer about boiling is it really does clean everything out, um, and it sterilizes the beads. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain this and give it a few more rinses of water, and then we will go ahead and begin the drying process. Yeah, just look at that. Ring of filth. Guys, here we are back to where we started. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and repotted my Cycopsis in fresh potting medium. So anytime you hear me say that I have sanitized, cleaned, and pre-soaked my Lekka beads, that is the process I'm talking about. And that's what this has just been potted in. 
So I've gone ahead and strained the beads that I just cleaned. They're all hanging out right in here and they are draining right into the same pot in which they were boiled. I'm gonna let that dry for a period of about a day and then I'll go ahead and place it in here. Now, never underestimate how absorbent and water retentive these Leica beads can be. So don't seal your container. You have to understand that it's going to continue to hold water. And if you seal it off, it has the possibility of creating some sort of mold or some sort of anything. You just don't wanna have that kind of stagnant water sitting anywhere. Um, so let it fully dry, go through that process in open air. And then the next time you are ready to go ahead and repot, you have your potting medium prepped and ready. It will be uh, fertilizer salt free and it'll be also free of that clay debris. So thanks again for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, I invite you to leave them in the comments section below and be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks guys, have a great day.